Well, in the next episode from Service UK, I'm out during the robot rut. My good friend Mark Zabrowski, the knife maker. Well done. I've got one nice little book that you may be interested in, and I hope he's going to be in the field where I've seen him recently. There's a proper book, and one with you. Whew, flipping heck. Well, good afternoon. It's the end of July, and it's the rut, and I've got Mark out again in the quest for getting him something reasonable to hang on his wall. So uh, he was out with us a few weeks back, middle of July. Yeah. We got a little cool book, didn't see much action, which is quite typical just before the rut. But um, hopefully we'll see something this afternoon. Uh, perhaps try and call him, show you some calling. Have you done much calling, robot calling? No, no. No, yeah, so everything's yeah. a Every day's a yeah. school day. So uh, we'll get no pressure on me at all then. Um, let's try and, uh, we've got some fields to look at. I've got some different books that we already know are in the area. But the, the rut can have already been on for a week now, a week or 10 days, so um, the books may have left those certain does that they were with and have moved to other places. So it's, you know, nothing's reliable about the rut and that's why we love it. But uh, anyway, we're gonna have a go and see what we can do, mate. So uh, let's go and have a look. Come and join us. So Mark, my good mate, who is a professional artisan knife maker, Mark Zbrowski, uh, is out stalking with us. So uh, between us, Dan the cameraman, myself and himself, we've got four of his knives. So we thought it would be nice, while we've got nothing else to do, to um, get excited yeah. and showcase your incredible workmanship. Well, thank you. So what have we got, Mark? Uh, well, this is, this is my main selection. This is my bread and butter of knives. The bread and butter of knives, yeah, I like we've got, it. Um, we've got a little pocket hunter. Mine. Which is yours, <laughs> yeah, that's your one. My um, go-to, go-to knife. That is everywhere I go. Good. Sometimes it's places I shouldn't be, because I sometimes end up in the pub and I feel in my pocket and it's in my pocket. So uh, that's how handy that is. You don't know you've got it on you. That's the idea, yeah, is that it sort of fits into a pocket yeah. and you don't really know it's there. Yeah. So that's built as a, bit of a companion knife to the deer stalker which is a sort of full-size hunting knife and that's also mine that so these two are my knives yeah. <laughs> and when i ordered them off mark 
I said to him, I specifically need orange handles because I am terrible with knives. Putting them down, doing films, doing photographs. So, um, well, I've had these for nearly 12 months uh, and they've been outstanding, but carry on. Yeah. Sorry, I do get excited about these oh, no, two. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> so these are obviously like a, work, a workman's knife and these two come with the Kydex sheath, which is fully washable. Um, the step up from then is the, the Deerstalker, but it's the heirloom model. So it's a much fancier Ooh. version. Uh, so this one's in a premium RWR34 steel. And it's got some nice stabilised wood handles as well. Stabilised wood handles? Yeah. Tell me about stabilised wood handles, because I hear you talking about it. I haven't got a clue what stabilised is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty simple really. Yeah, you just uh, you vacuum pump uh, a resin throughout the handle. So got it fills you. all the little pores. On the wood? Inside the wood, yeah, all around the wood, inside the wood. And then it's baked in an oven, yeah. which cures it, um, yeah. which sets it rock hard. That, that means that it's unable to take up moisture. Now. Well, I avoid wooden handle knives because I always think I'm going to get them wet, dirty, they're going to split because I've had that yeah. years ago. Old rosewood and stuff like that. But this, is, this, this kind of prevents that, does it? That's it, yeah, yeah. So everything's totally seasoned and dried up awesome. beforehand. And then... Um, the, the stabilising also means that it can't warp or crack. Yep. A lot of the times on, uh, on old fashioned wooden knives, as, as they start to warp due to humidity and stuff, it starts to peel away yep. from the knife, which obviously you don't want because it means you can get gunk uh, all inside your handle and it makes it unhygienic. Yep. Uh, but with these, you know, theoretically, they're, they're up to top modern standards of hygiene. And is this a different steel to, to my two workhorses? That's it, yeah, yeah. My standard go-to is the, these are both in a Sandvik 14C28N, which is a, a really good, uh, it's a designed for a knife steel. Yeah. Yep. Purposely designed to be knives. Um, this is just a step up. Um, it's just a, a premium stainless steel. Yeah. Slightly different manufacturing process. Yeah. Just means that theoretically this one has a has a cleaner grain structure. Yeah. And remind me the name of this one again. Uh, the knife is the Deerstalker Heirloom. Heirloom. Yeah. Got you. An RWL34. Yeah. Stainless steel. Awesome. And they've got a really nice leather sheath, hasn't it? Do you, do you make those as well? Yeah, all, all, all the shoes are done in house, all the other work is done. Incredible. In house. I could probably make this. I'd be really good at making these kind of well, things. You're welcome to. <laughs> yeah. I might need to the this way my Roebuck season's me, yeah. going. <laughs> and anyway, your own knife. Yeah, this is my personal knife. Uh, so this is a, a fin and feather model. Wow. Uh, which is it's based on a traditional bird and trout style knife. Great. Uh, so it's a little thinner in the blade profile. Uh, so it's good for filleting. Uh, fish and and taking the breasts off of game birds brilliant uh, but also it's a great all-round hunting knife uh, it's a nice skinny blade so you can get yeah. you can get in there and what would that come with would that come with a leather sheath normally as well yeah a standard yeah all yeah. my knives can can yeah. be requested with a kydex i got you some just suit a traditional leather sheath better well i as i was saying i love these and i'm um, really happy with how sharp it remains. I'm, I'm cruel on them, you know what I mean? I, I find myself yeah, a, a lot of the be. time not even having the saw, so I might even go through a bit of a cheeky rib cage or something like that. So yeah. I've been really impressed and I just love the feel of this little knife. I say, I say it's, it has become my favourite for, for taking out the backside, absolutely perfect. Really is my favourite knife and it's my go-to and I say the orange really helps and this this is a resin as well isn't this isn't a wood this it's is synthetic it's a synthetic yep. material called G10 G10 uh, it's, it's loosely it's similar to fiberglass really it's just yep. uh, layers of a synthetic weave yeah uh, sandwiched between a resin and then a cured so again it, it's impervious to moisture see how I'm abusing your knife just to get the uh, yeah get the film done well that's that's, that's fantastic so the guys watching this, they were interested in a fantastic English made um, knife. How would they go about it? We'd, we'd put your website up on the film so they can see that and yep, you you'd yep. get you do it to order. They can go on and select whatever they want, can they? Yeah, absolutely. The best way is just to go on my website, Click have through. a good browse, yep. see what interests you and then uh, fill out the contact form. No just, problem. Uh, we, we'll, we can chat about it. Absolutely yep. awesome. Well, Mark, thanks so much. I think that's killed 10 minutes.
Flipping heck. I expect him to kick. <sighs> well done. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> well, that was a little bit exciting. He snuck into the field. Been here several times with Mark and we've never seen him. And there he was. Well, we immediately called a doe and the kids. Started calling in the distance. We could see the... Did you get him on film when he first started coming? Yes. Yeah, so we, anyway, he came about, I don't know, 100... 20, 130 yards. Then the doe immediately joined him, netted him off, and they did a little, little bit of a run round. Then she laid down, so I tried calling, nothing. And then slowly he started to come. So I've just done a couple of little feeps with the bootle out in my hand, that way, <whistles> like that, just to kind of fetch him out. And he came really, really slowly. So um, let's go and have a look at this um, unusual, I hope, trophy for you. Ooh, well done, mate. Thank you. First proper book, and one we wanted to take. So you had kind of had your name on it because he's uh, snapped this antler off, and um, well, he's he's half a six, and uh, well, he was running that day, wasn't he? But uh, let's uh, let's fetch him out of this thick stuff into the thin stuff, and then you can see him. Well, Wideman sailed to Mark. Uh, finally, we got his book. We just pulled it out so you can see it. And uh, we'd seen it earlier on in the season, and um, it, obviously he's got a, a split ear, so it was easy to recognise. Uh, we weren't sure if this was a malform, um, because we had never really got that close to him. But uh, now I look at it, it looks like it was snapped off in velvet. Um, but still, nice book to take, and uh, going to be a lovely trophy for Mark. His first one to go in the workshop um, up on the wall. And, uh, and a lovely hunt for us, wasn't it? Eh? Yeah, yeah, really no nice. high seats yeah. for us, everything on foot. Um, we've seen um, a young buck earlier on, uh, and then a young six pointer. Uh, and then this one, well, he was difficult to fetch to the call because he was with a doe and he was actually running her. But we just carried on, we persisted. Uh, when they sat down, he couldn't help but come and have a look if there was a better option with us. And uh, he got to meet the K5, which was. Uh, also good. So well done, Mark. Wyvern Sile, Wyvern's Dank, you say. And uh, awesome. And now I'm going to grolic it with one of Mark's little knives. <laughs> 